Hello, I'm Brother Carter. And I am... Va- oh, who am I? <laughs> okay. Start it over. Start now. over. Hello, I'm Brother Carter. And I am Val. And we have a new show called Tasteful, Tasteful and, and Toxic. Toxic. Coming up when? Every Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Check us out. Tune in. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Tasteful and Toxic with Brother Carter. This is part two of describing your ideal mate when it comes to dating. Amen. <laughs> Again, this is Brother Carter with Tasteful and Toxic. I have the beautiful, vivacious one, Miss Jennifer Barnes on the show today. We have the lovely, 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 and very cute, may I add, Miss Tierra uh, Sade. And of course, the lovely, vivacious one, my left hand, my right hand, my ride or die, my lovely wife, Val, on the show today. Welcome. And good morning. T uh Sade. Sade, you're a homeowner. <laughs> and you begin to date this guy. That don't wash clothes. That uh that's not a homeowner. Mm, he a renter. Do yeah, you hobo, hobo would you move him into He's your dead. home or do would you expect this ideal guy to have his own? I'll bring something. Absolutely, positively. Not there you go. So even so you when I since I've had my home, the person that I did date, he was a homeowner as well. Matter of fact, he owned three homes, mm-hmm. right? He and I have this conversation quite often, regardless. You don't have to be a homeowner mm-hmm. to date me. Like that's mm-hmm. not what I'm saying. But we both had decided, like, since we're used to living in our spaces by ourselves, mm-hmm. we have a certain way that we do things in our home. Mm-hmm. So right. if we get married or at the time, like when we come together, we're just going to get another house. There together. you go. 100%. And we can rent or sell or Airbnb our personal mm-hmm. homes, but we we would be so irritated at each other. Like, why are in you doing that? Space. Why are you right. over there? Like, we'll just get another space. Right. And that, that that don't come with just people that just own homes. That come with individuals being Anything. raised differently. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's been brought up differently. So when you get a guy, Jennifer, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when he come into your world, I mean, would you lean more to what he, his uh, position of oh, living boy. should look like? Or would you, uh, how does that work? How does I that, had, how I does had that look? Somebody, I dated somebody who, on a temporary basis lived with me and uh which was agreed upon but towards the end of the temporary period I'm waiting for peanut gallery to say something anyway for the <laughs> end, <laughs> for the, at the end of that period he was like hey i'll just you know permanently move in and mm. m- my house at the time and i and i said no that's not first of all i don't, I don't think we were really ready for that mm-hmm. it was a it was a situation that situation it for at the moment mm-hmm. right um, I said, oh, I don't really think we're uh, we're not there yet. We're not there to the living together place. And and this is my house, and mm-hmm. these are my things. And mm-hmm. and when and if we get to that point, I think we should go get our house mm-hmm. with together. Our things. I want whether that agree. means picking out things or getting all new things. Mm-hmm. But you know, my house at the point at that time had history in it. Mm-hmm. Somebody else had lived in that house. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. So so yeah. I just think. Um, and even for your own mental space, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. How would you feel going to his house I w- and knowing that yeah, he Bet had somebody before. else was in that bed no. that you're now laying in? No, uh, that you- no. If, we, if we're coming together, then we get a new space. Fresh mm-hmm. start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It had to be fresh. Unless it's just so- something super crazy like. I don't know, like their house is like paid off. And there is nothing crazy. But even then, like, uh, unless me. it's just like extenuating circumstances. circumstances. Yeah, yeah. The only thing is yeah. I'm not laying in the same bedroom, the oh, yeah, same bed. bed. Yeah. Yeah. No, you get a new bed. Okay. Yeah. So you married, okay? A thousand percent. Oh, you married, okay. Val. Uh-huh. We're going to get down to some stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> that great day came upon me and I passed away. Okay, come on with it. Ooh. I said the great day has come, and uh-huh. I've passed away. Mm-hmm. I've transitioned. Mm-hmm. Would you bring another man? Into Absolutely that house? not. Let me look into this so, camera. Tara, if we're still we're still single. We'll I, move I, in with Val. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking into this camera. First of all, for out y'all out there in TV land, there is no other. At this point, forty five years I've been with this man. Mm-hmm. There is absolutely. 
it's only been two great men in my life. Mm -hmm. It's my father and this man. Well, I guess three. Heavenly Father, my father, and this man. And so what if, what if it's a person that's been married maybe two years, two, three years, and uh, the husband has passed along? And I'm not moving in his house. No. And you got a home. Oh, wait. You have a home. And uh, and so I want you to talk to those people that, that there's some people out there that have been married for a short period of time. And the significant other has passed on. And now you have this house it's and the same stuff that's in the house when your significant other was there. Okay. And so those uh, memories there for me is, is about a memory. And so for me, I would struggle with, and I have to ask the woman, because I can only speak to the woman. Why would you want to bring another man and start another life with those memories that are there in mm -hmm. that home that mm -hmm. this man and you created. So for me, no, it's that. And if I have children, that home is a memory for our family. Mm -hmm. That's you were the, this is our home. So I can't bring another man into this home. Mm -hmm. That's for our family. For me, that's just me. But, uh, but I'm the, I'm, I'm coming you into your life. I'm, well, I'm the new man ooh. coming into your life right Figure, now. You and come I think I want to make some memories in this house with you. It's no, that's about you trying to get, well, no, you need to go on and make your own memories. I want, I want us to make our memories You ain't in making house. no memories in this house because Brother Carter made this memory. So you can't make no memories. All you're doing is building off of what Brother Carter did. I think, I, I think there's circumstances where... I, I have a where, problem with that. Where if it's... Uh, you're not things. coming in my home. <laughs> you're not that's coming you, in my home, period. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe very firm about that. Home, yeah. right? Or there's a, a circumstance like uh, my my mother's, you know, remarried, and her and her husband got a house together, mm -hmm. um, and they're they're old. I mean, they got married much older, right? He has from his his previous wife passed away, and he has like a, a mansion condo. To figure it out. Well, he's got a condo on the beach that is now you know a hundred times what he paid for. I'm it. an Airbnb. It no, they, make money to go get my own. Yeah, so they. That's what you do. I they just there's, know, a, they there's, a, a there's thousands of yeah. people out there in relationships right now that have moved in. Where no, they don't live there, but okay. but they keep it. They, no, they have a house together, mm -hmm. but they keep that yes. place right, and they go Vacation spend the weekend there. there. I've gone to spend time there. They they keep that. That's different. Yeah. So let me say it's not their full time. It's home, not their permanent yeah. home. But because of the value of it, I wouldn't just turn good. around and buy another one. Well, I'm yeah. with you on that. I, I yeah. don't have a I problem with that. Circumstances yeah. sometimes. Well, I mm -hmm. like that. That's different. Yeah. But this is not going to be your main home. Correct. I mean, Correct. one up in brother. You're not putting your feet up in its recliner. Right. Correct. Yeah. I'm sorry. Am I wrong for that? I no, don't care. No, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. My <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the last son of a gun tried to put his foot up in there and uh, on the baby, I was 12. I know it. I let like, throw his ass over the balcony. <laughs> I was in my teens, y'all. I was literally in my teens. Yeah. He literally did try to throw him over the balcony. That's how long y'all have been together? Yes, yeah. literally. Oh my God. I was 19 years old. I don't old. even remember yeah. nobody. I was when 19. I was <laughs> she had a nice little old don't apartment. I did. He had pissed me off. Count. She, was, and she had a nice little apartment over there. You know, I we had broke I up once yeah, again. I wasn't so. paying no bills over there or nothing. But, but that still, was still my house. Still, it was the principal. And when I knock on the door, <laughs> that's why you got to be careful. And I come in and he's sitting over there with his feet up. If you don't get your goddamn clothes on, <laughs> that's how you grabbed him up, Brother Carter. Brother Carter was about to throw that ball over that balcony. No, he lit. I don't do it, baby. I'll do it. And you were just in there yeah. screaming. <laughs> but anyway, you better lock it down. Yeah, that was, that was in my. You understand? You better lock it Stop down. Stop playing with me. That was in my stupid days. Why does it take for women to like move on, or like for you to actually physically see? Because it's like y'all forget. A, Other yeah. people want me. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. But why you gotta physically see it and make your chest tight mm. before it's like okay, I'm a yeah. Like, why no, and don't, 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 no, 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 I'm gonna tell y'all what he was getting ready to do. He was going to end the show, but you gonna answer, can you answer what? that question? Why? She just asked, a, oh, that was so Because y'all make our chest tight so much. Yeah, yeah. Why, like, why do we have to play these chest tightening games? Okay. 
when you say play games? What? Who play games? No, no. Why, <laughs> why, why, my original you question. Oh, no. Why is it? Because somewhere in your mind, you have to know, like, I'm not the only person that finds this woman attractive right. or desirable. Right. But why does it take for us to act like the, for you to physically see yeah. the DM, the text message, the phone call, see the person there yeah. for y'all to like. See somebody else want you. Girl. Yeah. Why? Why? That has like a different type yeah. of why? effect he, than I, for me to just tell you. Can why? You know, I'm going to I'm go back into my youthful imagination. Yeah. Take us there. Because <laughs> we got some people sitting on the stage. <laughs> Take them. Let's see. <laughs> Take them. Okay. Be honest. On, on it's it's faithful and talk. You know, I think you was talking and alluded to this earlier today that uh, a man wants you to sit Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, be sitting back waiting on him to come through on Friday, on Saturday, and Sunday, or whatever. You alluded to that earlier today. And I think that when we're in our youthful state of being, we think like we was talking about being conquerors. I, I've, I've conquered. I've, I've climbed this hill already. Mm. And so I ain't worried about nobody else climbing that hill because I didn't climb it. I didn't conquer it. Oh, you put your flag on the side. Right. So, and you so actually, now the, the toll's been curved. And now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now she, she got somebody else over here trying to die out there. <laughs> mentally, hmm, mentally, as in my boyish state of mind, I think I got this conquered. Nobody else can take this. Oh. But now physically, oh, I'm seeing, seeing someone here. else's Moving in. Now, now I didn't got touched by my little old feelings didn't got touched now. Mm -hmm. But I ain't thought about all the the whole time. The stuff I was doing along the way. The options you were keeping. Right. Mm -hmm. And so now I see. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Is he about to put a flag on my back? <laughs> now you know. Okay, come on. So for those of you that are in the back room out there <laughs> that uh, are sleeping around. Yeah. Go, 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 finish first, please. That, that, out there sleeping around. Mm -hmm. uh, you better start sweeping around your front door because you somebody, sleep around. somebody else might start sleep, sweeping around it if you're not sweeping around yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's your Take care of home. Okay, so really quick. My follow-up question is, so, okay, you, you're talking about this nature that men have to, like, conquer and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So how is it, in your opinion, that a woman needs to um, be or show up in dating or even if in a committed relationship or marriage um, to where that man doesn't get comfortable. Do we need to Ooh. take space from you and go out with our friends so you just know my life is not just about you? Like, mm. what does that look like for you to keep that constant reminder without something drastic having to happen? Oh, wow. Mm. That was... Dang. Without just, That's... like, blatant game. Play. Yeah, without the games, really but that. just but the dynamic. The like, because yeah. yeah. I have my own idea of what it's like, but I want to hear yeah. from a man. Well, I, you got to break that down to me a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so outside of, like, just playing games, like, we're not playing mm -hmm. games. Yeah. This is just, like, what is the natural ebb and flow of a relationship that needs to take place for man. the man because y'all are conquerors. Like, okay, right, we're right. committed. We're, we're right. together. Yeah. But what needs to happen outside of it being something drastic like I see you with the man or we broke up and mm -hmm. then you go on a date? Like, what needs to happen in the day-to-day -day relationship for y'all yeah. to keep that reminder that, okay, I, have not, I need to keep doing the work right. to keep her right. and not just act like I right. got her and she's yeah. never going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, and and I think what you what you're alluding to is that often we get comfortable with a situation. Uh, we think that the the situation is just going to remain as is. I'm good. She look like she good, so I don't have no problem. Now, when I'm be faced. With the problem. So y'all have to so, be the face yeah. before y'all do don't it. Well, what does the it, woman need to do so that it doesn't have, have to, to get, get to, to that, that point? Uh, like this is advice for the women yeah. based on what you just shared with us about how men kind of yeah, think. Yeah, I, I think uh, personally that women may want to communicate their displeasure in the relationship mm -hmm. uh, prior to it going that far. 
south, north, east, west, or whatever, which way it goes. So when they communicate it in you. Hey, so I, I want to know uh, what makes a man shut all the doors to his other options. Oh, yeah. That's it. You, they, they coming for you. They ain't. They. I, I can't answer that, Doug, because because everybody's built different. Okay, but Everybody, they just want to know from your different. perspective. I've zeroed in and no, I'm just. No, but what made you sh zero in to yeah, me, baby? Yeah. What made you say, ah, 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 ain't nothing else but her? What made you get to that place? What made me get to that place? Yeah, because you did your part. I don't know. It's, it's a good question. See, but I just think the matter. Yeah, I think the opportunity no, the know. access is just different in this don't era. Don't be, baby, answer so the I have, question. I have a, a thought, but I want to hear yeah. I want to hear your answer. Yeah. What made you get to that point that you said, this is it. I'm not get on down the street, and you need to be un lean in it. Somebody want to hear it in you the know, back of the room. I've told my testimony a number of times on this show. Okay, well go ahead. They ain't heard it. Talked about how I was on crack cocaine and doing all these different matters of things in life, and at some point at that, enduring that time, I got to a place where I just got tired of of misusing myself mm -hmm. and abusing myself. And so the same thing come to a relationship when I zeroed in and figured out that this is who I want. This is where I want to be. So all the other stuff had to go to the wayside. And and that take a that's a process I believe uh, for each individual. It depends on how strong or how weak or how strong you are, in, in, in your pursuit and happiness. And so my some other guys' happiness may be pursuing everywhere. That's just what they're just what their life is made of. That's what they want to do. And you cannot tie you cannot change that man from doing those mm -hmm. things that he wants to do. You know, no matter how good you think you making him feel or whatever, he ain't going to change because this is, that's not his mindset. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've had actual men, I've had, I just actually said to me too, which blew my mind when it was said to me, but like, hey, Jennifer, you're smart, you're funny, and you know, you've got this going on, you're beautiful, you're blah, 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 you're everything yeah. I look for in a woman, but I know if I was with you, wonder if I could just do better. Mm. Damn. Oh, well, thank you for your honesty. Damn. But like, Damn. Uh, what? I mean, there's always better and worse, right? Damn. You can hone in on somebody and say, you're everything I want. And that's enough for me. But, okay. So you know, I, I, I'm sorry. That's good. I'm over here having a whole, I'm palpitating. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me tell you something. He said he could do better. He'd wonder if he could do better. Brother, Carl. It goes back to that conquering mindset. Yeah, so I'm going to ask you. That same response. What makes a man say that to a woman that I think I can? It's be not better? somebody I was with. I no. I'm no, just saying. I, I'm not not you. Yeah. But I'm saying, what makes a man say that to another woman to another that I woman think I can, can do, do better? better? To make her. To make no. Her to speak the words. Yeah, I mean, he's he's a low down rascal for sure. Mm. You know? I mean, I wasn't dating him, so it was it was just. But kind we're of not a, talking about you because yeah. there's other women that. Right, yeah, men right, right. speak to. Y'all ask some difficult questions. They're important. <laughs> and I'm trying to answer trying to questions. Keep you on your toes. They're important. They're As very a man, important. But I can't answer questions for all men. Right. But you can answer from your perspective. Yeah, we value your opinion. Yeah. We value your and opinion. My... That's why we're on your show. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what would make a man say to you? Jennifer, you want to say yeah, specific, that, it, very uh, complimentary. Great. You know? You're all the stuff. You're, nice. you're, you're all everything. That. You're amazing. You're tall, beautiful, yeah. smart, funny, uh -huh. blah, blah, blah. But if I dated you, I'd be wondering, could I do better? Yeah. Oh. So he, he built go, you go, up. Go, she going to add something else to it. Go ahead, Tia. What you going to add no, to no, it? I want to hear him. Yeah. Sorry. It sounds like he built you up and then dropped you at the same time. Right. So what is that? And so. That's that seemed like some kind of manipulation mm. trying to take place in my in my mind, and it's the it's a. I think it was like the, acknowledging, like I know you're a confident woman, and I'm going to agree with you, but then say, but there's better but out that there. Really, well, that's what we women <laughs> but would think. Better out there from a man. What is he saying? Yeah, I want to hear the man like. But don't be too egotistical. Well, what is he saying? <laughs> What is the man saying that would say that to I, me? I can't, I Look can't at comprehend me. it, though. So, telling you you're beautiful, but I can do better. Can I, can I 
I mean, Assu- it's always making assumptions. Yeah, go ahead. I think that it goes back to what you said earlier about like that conquering mindset. So it's like you're all of these things, but if I actually get you then that means that my game is who I am because I was able to land this amazing woman. So then it makes me wonder, I'm looking at another woman that has a little bit more. I wonder if I can get her to, like, I wonder if I can just keep moving up the ladder. 100%. That is kind of how I took it. I'm glad you you verbalized it. I I don't think he was saying that there's anything wrong wrong with you, you, but I think it was, I think because it it was an, it's an ego driven thing of just like, I want, I think for some men or, and I don't know, I'm a woman and I'm not generalizing, Mm -hmm. but like most of us, it's like, I want the best of the best I can get before I settle. And that's why men don't settle because I think we said this in the other show, like, there's always always something better. Yeah. Like if I, if I'm, you know, whatever, Mm -hmm. then there's somebody else who's something better than that or whatever, depending on who's looking at it. And it's almost like, wow, I was able to pull her. Mm-hmm. Like, she's into me. She yeah. wants me. Mm-hmm. So that's says something that. about me. I did that. And but if I could I, pull her, then maybe yeah. I'm good enough, strong enough, powerful enough to pull her over there that has a little bit more I over agree. here and just keep going. I agree. And I almost feel like a tad bit. He told me that because he's like, no, I better stay down here. You know what I mean? Like, cause it's, it's an ego. Like yeah. I better stick with like this level. You're this level. I better stick with this level. Cause if I got myself up here, I just want to go higher. You know, yeah. and I almost felt like he's self, like self. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like, Oh no, no. Can't, can't go that far. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that your standard was, uh, he was, he, he was, uh, coming up. Being with you versus where he was. I don't know him that well, to be perfectly yeah. honest. I, I met him. He's an attract. He's attractive. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, you know, I, a lot I, of, I can't gauge the I, rest I of it. It was, just a, guys it was a comment that just kind of shut me down again. Not yeah. that we were dating, but kind of shut me down a little bit. Yeah. But also it was just like, I don't know if I'm appreciative of that honesty or yeah. just horrified that that's the way you think or, and, and I, I wasn't, I just kind of walked so. away like shaking and, and, my head. And like, sometimes, you know sometimes we don't really know what we the hell we saying. We're stupid as hell sometimes. <laughs> and we just say some of the damnedest, stupidest things. But and, I think sometimes like, and again, I'm so spiritual. I just feel like sometimes people say stuff and it's like, do you know you said that out loud to right. me? And it's almost like red flag, red flag, red flag. Like, because mm-hmm. I can think of so many situations where someone has said something like, did you know you were talking to me when you said that out right, loud? Right, right. That was out loud. But it wasn't, it was the red flag <laughs> yeah. of like, don't go down this right, road with right. this person. Like, it doesn't matter how you much you think y'all know. have in common, like, yeah. just don't do it. <laughs> it's going to be a waste of time. Yeah. And every time I ignored that, yeah. it was a disaster. Right. It came to. Yeah, pass. like you actually yeah. end up seeing it. Yeah. And it's like, well, I can't believe he did that, but yeah. you should believe he it because he this. told you before he did it. <laughs> yeah. He people told tell, you. Yeah, people telling themselves. They that's really do. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. But that's crazy. Like, oh, if I get you then. But, well, but I, I think that's the mentality. But and I'm I, like, I think, did I hear those? Ex- is that what he, uh, I left that situation. I thought about it for way too long, too. And I may have had a cocktail or two before this conversation. So it's like, is that, what he, is that really, really what? Let me, let me try and flip all yeah. the words. Is it? I'm pretty sure that's what was said. I think sometimes you, know? you have to look at the situation and saying it. Did he just say something stupid, or is he really <laughs> trying to manipulate me with what he just said? Both. I, just, I just walked away with thank you. Because some guys, <laughs> you know? some guys just say some stupid shit. Yeah, you know, just stupid shit. And some are very and, ego and some, driven. Yeah, because that was a very ego driven statement. He's not saying. I want to grow with you. I want to see what kind of life we can build together. It's like, no, I'm trying to climb the ladder to see what woman can be on my arm to make me look better. Mm. Like I'm trying to, you know what I'm Almost like I'm trying to climb the ladder at work. I'm trying to climb the ladder Mm -hmm. in, you know, money or whatever. Sound ambitious. Yeah. It makes Mm -hmm. me think like, well, what, 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 where's the stopping point? And that's why a lot of them never settle down or they end up kind of settling. You know what I mean? Like with the person today. that hangs on while they take yeah. them through all the mud and it's like, okay, well, you're here. So or, or you're, you're the one that's going to that's gonna be around till I'm like 55. And then like, mm, yeah. yeah. Sometimes that's why it's good I, I to be know. the one that got away sometimes because yeah. the one that ends up quote unquote winning because a lot of women look at marriage like, oh, I won. But that's the one who let him take her through the mud. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with being the one that got away because I'm not about to stick around for all of the shenanigans. Cause I'm gonna hit you upside your head with a chair. Yeah, because you don't know what that woman going through to be with this man. Yeah, man, you know. And it's so embarrassing. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it really is. It's outside. embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. What? That's one thing. I saw a post on Instagram and it was saying, "When? When is it safe to say this is my man, my man, my man?" Like. When is it safe to be like, oh, yeah, this this is my man. Like, mm-hmm. this is my person. And a lot of the women in there were saying, and I was thinking the same thing, like, it's really not safe because as soon as you start thinking like that, like, oh, no, we're together. Now you're embarrassing yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Like, now you're an embarrassment. Yeah. I feel like I feel so, like somebody so, in this room has heard that come out of my mouth a lot. <laughs> so we have to be careful about what, uh, what we're looking for in a significant other. <clears throat> We have to be careful and listen to the words that these individuals are saying to us and not saying to us. Yeah. Well, so your original question, original, the top of the show was what's your ideal, ideal person look like? Individual, and right. we we don't know because don't, someone could yeah. look ideal and then right. they're not. Exactly. And I think as you get older, your ideal changes yeah. as well. Right. Yeah. So. Couldn't couldn't have cared less if somebody was a homeowner when I was twenty five, yeah. but I do care. At, yeah, at, <clears throat> at the old, the age I am now. So how <laughs> how long would you um, ask this one one last question? How long should you be with a person before you say that this is uh, my person? I'm not with anybody, so I can never. I can't answer that question. I really don't know. I used to have a t- two. It feels there, feels like I had quote, two years. Quote and, uh, time frame because of, the man is the one who kind of has control over it moving to the next level. Like he has control over when the family starts. He has control over when the family starts, like Mm -hmm. as far as marriage and then having the children. So for me, I don't think it takes more than two, three years for you to know, but I'm not the one who determines it. That Mm -hmm. that's the longest that I feel like I would want to wait. But I also know people where it was four years, it was five years, but I don't, I don't know. I just don't want my time wasted, and yeah. I'm, I'm Not willing to walk part away. Of your life. I yeah. think, I yeah. think you know after a year. I think oh you know. yeah, doesn't mean you're moving forward after a year. Maybe there's other circumstances. You know, like in my case. Well, not so much because she's grown, but maybe some of them and I have small children in the house, and maybe that's not something I want. Mm-hmm. To cohabitate with somebody with small children. Wait till their children get older. Whatever the case may be. Yeah, right. That's a good point. Um. Or, or you know, any kind of any kind of thing, houses, um, situations that maybe you know after a year, but maybe you don't move on it. Um, you know. Yeah, because after that first year, like um, they said, Stephanie says you're still kind of really getting to know the person mm-hmm. you want. So that's why I say like two, three, and that makes yeah. sense. Like first year, I'm just really getting to know different parts of you, and then after that, it's like, okay, what can our life look like together? And- Think about like after a year, it's more like, is this even like, is this the, you know? Fight or flight. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Is, yeah. Do I keep with this person and keep and keep working on it? Or is like like it's been a year and it's, we don't have the same idea. All right. All right. All right. So thank you, ladies, for being on the show, describing your idea mate of what you want to who you want to date in life, uh, what that person looked like. <clears throat> I don't think we ever got to what this person even looked like. But <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I'm five ten, so it, <laughs> five ten and above would be nice. Yeah, it's not a mandatory. Integrity yeah. is big yeah. for me. Integrity. But at the end of the day, uh, you want somebody that's gonna uh, appreciate you, love you, respect you, blah blah blah. Those type of words that you know. Uh, be there for you. Not uh, you never meet his. Go to his house. He he can't give you his phone number. Clear signs that he might be married or something like that. And that's what we're gonna talk about on on the next edition of uh, Tasteful and Toxic with me. We're gonna talk about the signs of uh, knowing that a guy is married. Ooh, I'm gonna watch that one. <laughs> I've, been, good. I've only been because yeah, I need to I, know. There's a lot of ladies out there probably dating a married man, and it's and he's saying he's not married, but yet he is married. So we're gonna talk about that next week. So thank y'all for tuning in to today's show uh with Taste for Toxic with Brother Carter, with Miss Miss uh got Jennifer Barnes, and we have <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and we also have Miss Tierra Shade on the show today. Thank y'all for being on the show. We Thank love you. you. You know, and I appreciate you guys and and everything that you brought to the show today. Mm-hmm.